Hey you guys. Hi um, Facebook. I'm also on YouTube behind. I wanted to do this all at once so I don't have to do it more than one time. So I'm on Facebook on my phone and I'm on YouTube on Brett's phone. Um, YouTube family, I know a lot of you guys don't follow me on Facebook, but I did want to make this public apology because I've recently, uh, actually just like 30 minutes ago, I leaked my messages that I sent to my moderator here on Instagram and I sent to my, I sent to my moderator Dana, I sent to my moderator Kiki, and I sent to my husband all the same day on July 18th, 2024, and you can see the date in the messages. Um, I don't know how much Facebook knows, but YouTube knows how much that I've been going through um, over the past couple months with this group of mean girls. I've made police reports. I was crying every single day. Um, I made a whole live, like crying my heart out, begging them to stop. And instead of stopping, they, they continued forward and made videos about um, my family and I. This was before anything, before anything happened, you know, just my regular family videos. And these people were just bashing the freak out of me and my family. They made a page calling my son race. Um, they just would not stop. So I made a brilliant idea to separate from my husband to troll these women that were desperately after my husband and were just bashing me. Um, my idea, troll the troll, my idea. The word leaks is what's unsettling to me with King of Queens, AKA Rose's channel. I mean, I knew that there were some storylines behind this content um and i knew that it was going to come out but how do you leak information on yourself and it backfire to the point now you're acting like you are the victim gonna further listen to what she has to say but in my opinion you know there's no sympathy for rose because this is uncalled for and i think that she's doing this for views of it was that we were gonna get this separation and then they these girls these mean girls were gonna make videos about our separation and this this and that i never imagined it to get this sounds like she did this for advertisement to help blow her channel up why would you do a plan like this that could have ultimately backfired what if um, there was a fake separation that turned into a real separation. And maybe what if, by coincidence, one of these haters hooked up with your husband? Let's just say that hypothetically speaking. Why are we playing these kind of games on the internet? And then when it backfires, we're the victim. So far and so blown out of proportion. I never imagined it to actually reach my true supporters i just thought that i was just gonna yeah, sit right. back relax and watch this dumb these dumb women make reaction pages and basically they're making pages you can see on the on the the messages that i linked they're making reactions on something that you put out there whether it was true or not they're making a reaction on what came out of the horse's mouth so how are they trolling you if you were actually trolling and baiting them is the question. I truly did put a police report on July 10th, I believe. They've been doing this for a while. It was greatly affecting my mental health. I mean, I was, what do you, what do you? Police report, I mean, wow. I'm, I'm a little happy because I kind of. I was crying every single day. I was going to the police. I was crying to my husband, like why won't Brett is basically, he knows what she did was dead wrong. It was going to cause a lot of confusion and chaos. It's going to bring vi uh, views and clicks, but it's also going to bring drama. It was going to get way out of control. But, you know, like they always say, you know, people pick fights. And then when somebody swings the first punch, they want to get police involved. How did that come to 
police being involved in this situation with you, person who leaked all this information, or the enemies to come after you. You don't give them anything to talk about. They have nothing to talk about. You gave them ammunition enough to stop reaction channels. Now it's way out of control, and now you're the victim. If they stop, they're acting like they literally know me, like I took their man or something, like I did something to them. So instead, they were literally making money off of me. The woman made a, a page and said, um, yes, now I'm finally monetized. And her page was she said nothing she but leaked. my family. She didn't have a single her video information. that was like an authentic video. Her whole page was bashing my family. And she even got a whole group of people to bash my family. She said she leaked information. Now, I want to know, is the information that Rose leaked accurate, truthful information that they used for commentary and made their whole channel about Rose and her family, uh, Queen of Kings? Or was it fake information that they did commentary and reactions to? But either way, why did Rose take it upon herself to do that? Who thinks that deeply to come up with a plan like that that backfires in the end tell me about that called the tosh mob group and this tosh mob group just would not stop they were coming on all my family videos and so like as you guys see in the messages that i reveal um me and my moderator we decided like okay these people don't want to see positivity like they want to see negativity so we're going to give it to them wow and so that's what i thought i was doing i did not think that it would affect the people it pretty much backfired on Rose because not only is she now letting us know it backfired without letting us know, but she's promoting the channel that she gave the ammunition to to um, use against her. She's promoting the name of the channel so people can go subscribe and she can blow them up even, even further. So how did you make out, Rose? that truly follow us and so i do apologize from the bottom of my heart the bottom of my soul and bottom of my core i'm sorry well it did affect rose and it got bigger than it was meant to kind of get please it was honestly meant to get the trolls the like trolls. you said troll the trolls and we're going to kind of pull the rug out and kind of now that it's way. against you that's why we filmed some of the beginning and showed some of that as well um but we are for rose's help River, can you relax please? i am getting her into a therapy not kidding. I've you need to be in the therapy. Oh, uh, week now. I don't know if you this is ridiculous. Talk? Yeah, the the screens the screenshots are shared on Facebook, you guys, because YouTube doesn't allow me to. YouTube allows me to share like two, like they don't allow me to show the whole picture. And there's like ten screenshots, so the screenshots are shared on Facebook. Um, YouTube people, my Facebook name is Rose Miller. If you want to go to Facebook to Rose Miller and look at the screenshots, they're all there with uh, the. This was a good way for Rose to promote herself on all platforms, even though she goes viral on all platforms. Sometimes we don't know our, our worth. Um, I just hope that she learned from this. I kind of figured that she has been up to doing whatever to get content um, for her channel. And trust and believe she loves the promotion because this is free promotion that channel holders like myself do on Rose because it puts her name out there. And people follow her and she knows it. She knows exactly what she's doing. Date and everything. So it was to three different people. I got to my husband, screenshots to Dana, and screenshots to Kiki. But if you notice, I was singing Andy Kaufman, Man on the Moon, uh, for a reason. Uh, if some of you are smart enough, I sent Rose a message too, like, if oh, some of these please. people are picking up on it. This is actually kind of brilliant. Um, but yeah, I got a little too far. What's her name? Started making a video about it. I guess someone named Tasha K, and that's when I, like, I don't know a Tasha K, but I've been receiving um, messages saying that someone named she Tasha don't know K Tasha is K. making videos. I guess someone that uh, made videos about Cardi B or whatever, and it just kind of escalated too far. We she don't know Tasha K. Well, she might not know Tasha K. It sounds like me that they did this to grow their channels, and it backfired. He just thought we were going to just sit back and troll the trolls, you know. And it backfired. Um, but, yeah. It was kind of fun, a little nerve-wracking, but kind of goal was to see because my main thing was like, 
like uh, bad news reporters getting a hold of information and rolling. Like the whole time that a couple of the pages were like just creating these narratives and stories. So we we're like, well, they what? started a long time. They started the second we hit one Everything million Everything you do, they created person that genuinely doesn't care and is trying to shine and stay in their own lane wouldn't even go to this measures to um start up the trolling right along with the trolls so she's no better than the people that do the commentary on her no matter so what like, we did we, it was all positive videos yeah, why and why they just kept... our own little conspiracy why don't we mess with them a little bit You've Anyways, been doing it was your own affecting conspiracy. my mental health greatly, and so you guys, I am, I am getting help. I am getting help because I was crying every single day, and I moved here to Hawaii to have a peace of mind and to be happy and to be good with my family. And these women were just crushing my whole happiness. You guys want to know where we live? I shared it in the police report. We live in Honolulu. We live in Oahu, Hawaii. I've the been truth keeping has that a secret been exposed. only because of these mean girls have been making me feel like I need to like look over my shoulder like I'm a thug or a gangster and I'm like targeted or something. These girls have literally threatened she knows my life not her for no good reason at all. at all. They've threatened us. They made pages because my son kissed me. They I've been I went to the I went to CPS. I went to the police department because these girls are threatening that they're calling CPS on me and they're calling the police like I'm a gangster. I felt like I had to hide and duck and dodge this is crazy you guys want to know where we are we are in honolulu oahu hawaii okay and i went to the police department today to let them know that this has been happening you're leaking information now why give out your exact location beside giving the address to your apartment building if you're trying to be safe I don't get it. And so I feel safe. I live right next door to the police department. So So you shouldn't be up here then talking I'm about it if you're safe. Brett is no so better than Rose she is. I started ad libbing a little bit too much, so I started my kids. Rose started ad libbing a little bit too much and started 